welcome to my mathematics class. In our lesson today, we want to look at Form 1 uh, Mathematics. This is uh, Chapter 4, which is uh, Fractions. And in this particular lesson, we would like to look at how we add and subtract fractions. Now, for those who got the topic on integers clearly, then the topic of fractions becomes very easy. And we are going to recall how we were adding integers, how we were multiplying them, how we were subtracting them, because that needs to be applied in this topic on fractions. So when we are simplifying fractions, all we need is the knowledge of um, integers, a thorough knowledge, because we will add negative numbers, we will add uh, positive numbers, we will subtract, we will multiply, and we are going even to divide. So in our lesson today, we want to look at how we can add and subtract fractions. This topic in Form 1 is actually a revision of what was done in primary school. So it is not expected <clears throat> that this topic is going to be difficult, but again, a good understanding of this topic gives the learner a very good uh, background for progression to more involving topics. So let's go straight to uh, the examples we have here. The first one is um, two thirds added to one over seven, or two thirds divided to a seventh you remember the idea of the lowest common multiple or the LCM? So in this example, we need to remember the, how to get the LCM of 3 and 7. This is going to be 21. The LCM of 3 and 7 is 21. So in our solution, we will um, write 21, that is the LCM, and then we are going to take 21 divided by 3, which gives us 7, and what we get there we multiply by the numerator, and therefore we are going to get 21 divided by 3, that's 7, multiplied by 2, that gives us 14. So we are going to write 14 there. And then we get the same 21 divided by 7, that's 3. That 3 multiplied by 1 to get 3. And therefore, the working is that easy. Let's just go over that again. We have 21. We divide by 3. That's 21 is the LCM of 3 and 7. Then that gives us 7 times 2. That gives us 14. And then 21 divided by 7. That gives us... 3 multiplied by 1 is just 3 and therefore the working becomes 14 plus 3 that's 17 divided by 21 and now that there is no common multiple here our answer becomes 17 over 21 <coughs> Let's go to example number two on addition. And there are two ways in which we can look at this addition. The first one is we can take five and two, those are the whole numbers, add them up, then take the fractions, a half and a third, add them up separately, and then combine the two. I think maybe for this particular one, that would be the, the easiest because there is no multiplication, not much multiplication involved. And therefore, we'll get, we take the whole numbers here, 5 and 2, and that becomes 7. So we can say 5 plus 2, and then we add the fractional part, which is a half and a third, and this becomes a half, a half, that's a, a 1 of 2 plus a third. And this is um, 
this, this means it's 7, the 5 plus 2, and then you can get the LCM here. The LCM of 2 and 3 is 6, so uh, plus, um, we have said the LCM is 6, and then we, do, we divide like we did in the other example here. So we're going to take 6, 6 here, divide by 2, that gives us 3. 3 multiplied by 1 is 3. Plus 6 divided by 3, that's 2. 2 multiplied by 1 is just 2. And we have it there. Now we took the whole numbers, 5 and 2, so that we have uh, 5 and 2 here. So we could have written straight away 7. And there we have it. So our final working in this case will be 7 and 5 power 6. 7 and 5 power 6. We've said we could have done that in a different way. We can multiply. We change the, this is a mixed number. We can change the mixed number to an improper fraction, whereby now we multiply 5 by 2, we get 10 plus 1. That's 11. So we could have done it in an alternative uh, way. We have an alternative. Where we multiply 5 by 2, that's 10, 11 over 2. Okay, plus. 2 multiplied by 3, that gives us 6 plus 1, 7 over 3. And then we need to get the LCM, which is 6. And then we go on and divide 6, divided by 2 is 3, 3 times 11 is 33. And then 6 divided by 3 is 2, that 3 plus 14, that makes it 47 over 6. And when you simplify this, you get the same working, 7 and 5 over 6. We need now to look at uh, subtraction. The procedure is basically the same because we even here we need the LCM of which again is this 7 and 3 again we have 21 21 divided by 7 that's 3 uh, times 4 that gives us 12 and then we have 21 divided by 3 is uh, 7 times 2 is 14 when we simplify this, and this is what I was saying at the beginning, we need to remember how we were doing the integers. Because here you see we got 12 subtract 14. Now, um, you, you remember how we are doing it? We are saying 14 subtract 12, that gives us 2, and give the sign of the larger number. So, the, we get negative 2 divided by 21. We are on our last one now. We have five and a third minus two and a quarter. We can apply the same argument that we applied here. We took the whole numbers first and we added them. Here we can also do the same, but we will remember that um, when we take five subtract two, we'll get three and that three we will add to a third minus a quarter, we will add. But instead of maybe going that way, we could just convert this five and a third to an improper fraction, and also two and a quarter, and then subtract. So this is going to be 16 over three, because we are saying five times three plus one, uh, that is 16 over three. Subtract. 2 times 4 is 8 plus 1 is 9. Subtract 9 over 4. Again, we need the LCM. And in this case, the LCM is 12. The LCM is 12. 
12 divided by 3 is 4. 4 times 16 is 64. So we have 64 subtract. Now this is 12 divided by 4 is 3, 27. And therefore we have 64 minus 27 over 12. And that gives us that 7 over 12 which is the same as 3 and uh, 1 over 12. 3 and 1 over 12. So we are going to stop here for now. Join me in the next lesson as we discuss uh, multiplication and division of fractions. So from me, it's goodbye until the next lesson.